Welcome to the fin floor installation guideline. We are going to be looking at the effect 12 mil laminate from AGT. Join me for a brief introduction on how to get the most out of your installation and safeguard those warranties. The Effect AGT 12 mil product, it has a great hard wearing surface with an AC5 aluminum oxide overlay, which is perfect for high commercial settings. This does boast an antibacterial wear layer as well, so perfect for those homeowners or office owners which do deal with animals or kids because it kills 99% of all bacteria touching it. It does also boast an L2C locking mechanism, which makes it perfect for installation from left to right or right to left, perfect for those passage installs. Let's get into the installation. So part of your planning will be to set out your site. It's always good practice to pin stack your product the day prior to make sure that it acclimatizes properly to the environment. Don't store it in the garage, but preferably storing it in the room of installation. Mark out your trims. Yeah, we want to cut our door profile to size. Measure out the distance for the expansion from the laminate. Just remember from the track of the trim to where your laminate will be, will be a minimum of 12 mm expansion. Once marked out with your dowels, where the dowels will be going, we will then use a 6.5 millimeter drill bit to drill for the dowels to slip in and secure the trim. Once you've drilled for the dowels, please use your vacuum cleaner to suck out any dust so that it bonds properly with the anchoring cement that we'll put in at the end of the installation. For your door frames, take a piece of underlay with the laminate that you're gonna be installing. We're gonna scribe a line on our door frames. We're gonna then use our multi-tool. You can use the laminate as a guide as well. We will then make sure that the blade of the multi-tool can cut through mild steel, and we will take it nice and slow and eat through the door frame. Take a chisel and a hammer just to tap out any extras that needed. That's a pro tip and make sure that the laminate can pass through freely without any catches underneath the door frame. This will allow the laminate to expand and contract freely under the door frame without any unsightly fillers, which can prohibit it from jamming and pushing up later. So yeah, we're busy having a look at the moisture content in the screen that we've casted the day prior, making sure that it meets the tolerance um, dedicated by the supplier. Yeah, we're checking for any highs or lows in the substrate. So if you do find any highs, just grab a carb around a brick and grind down the little high spots, making sure that it's within the tolerance of no more than three millimeter deviation over a 1.5 meter span. After that, please make sure that you do sweep and vacuum up all aggregates and loose material on the floor, as this could create a crunching noise underneath your floor once installed. So after prepping the site and making sure that everything is clean of aggregate, we're now gonna be proceeding with putting down our underlay. Yeah, we're gonna be demonstrating our Fin IXPE acoustic underlay, which is 100% waterproof, mold deer resistant and mold resistant. It is also an acoustic underlay, which breaks the acoustics up to 12%. Yeah, we can see that it's got a self adhesive strip, which we use to tape down the whole seam to prevent any moisture from seeping through the joint and attacking the laminate. We will then proceed with setting out our laminate to make sure that the filler on the edge is no less than 50 mil to make sure that it stays within the parameters of its structural integrity. If it is less than 50 mil, it might pull apart and your floor will fail. Yeah, we've now reached the end of the wall. I'm measuring and it exceeds 50 mil, so we are good. If it is less than 50 mil, I would recommend cutting the first line back to make sure that the final line does meet the 50 mil requirement. Header to header, we wanna make sure that the panels exceed a minimum of a quarter of the panel. I mark the 12 mil expansion on the end. My colleague cuts the panel for me. I then fit in header at a 33 degree angle. Make sure that it fits snugly with your 12 mil expansion against the wall and that my underlay still wraps up 50 mil up the wall, preventing any excessive moisture that is in the slab or in the wall from penetrating my cut joint and exposed core. 
Once done, repeat until done, until you get to the filler. Thank you for joining us with this installation guideline on the Effect product. For more installation guidelines, please read carefully through the installation guidelines provided with every box, either inside or printed at the back of the box. For more guidelines or tips and tricks, please visit our website at finfloor.co.za. Enjoy your great Effect AGT FinFloor product.